before we arrive in Tokyo, we first go to the village of Hakuba for a special welcome. In Uzbekistan, we met Ganji, our Japanese friend with whom we spent a small week riding together from the border with Tajikistan to the capital, Dushanbe. We stayed in contact through WhatsApp, and when we decided to go to Japan, we really wanted to meet again. But unfortunately, that didn't work out, as Kanji was still on the road himself. At one point during our time in Japan, we had to get to Tokyo to apply for the Chinese visa to continue our trip to Southeast Asia. Kanji asked his parents if he could stay and rest for a few days at their home. We're now chilling at the 7-Eleven, and we have some road magic going on. So cool. So sweet. We got so many presents already. Oh. Amazing. We were welcome to come by and could even leave our bags and bicycles at their house to arrange the visa in Tokyo. We're heading our way to their home in the west. But first, we need to wash off some layers of dirt that we have been building up the last few weeks in Japan. We just went to our first onsen. So that's kind of like a Japanese bathhouse or sauna place. It was very nice to freshen up. It was kind of the first shower since we're in Japan. Um, so we could really use it. We're heading to Kanji's father now. So we're gonna um, go first to the supermarket, get some groceries and buy a little gift for him. So this is Kanji's mother. <laughs> she prepared this lovely dinner for us. So that's like sour plum? Mm -hmm. I think so. We were welcomed like family and were spoiled with one of the best dinners we've had in Japan. After spending a couple of days together, we made ourselves ready to go to Tokyo. Today is a very special day and we go to Tokyo finally um, to get our Chinese visa. That's the most important thing and why we're going to go there. We're going to be there for a week. Um, take some time to get the visa processed. We're going to leave uh, all our bags and all our other stuff like the bikes. <laughs> we're going to leave it here at Kanji's family at their beautiful house. And uh, yeah, let's get going. We're just driving out from the Hakuba bus terminal. Looking forward to exploring Tokyo. Tokyo will be such a fascinating, crazy place. The most busy metropolis on the planet. It'll take about five hours and from there we're gonna explore the city. So, see you later. Famous Harajuku shopping street, where all things cute can be found. Or as the Japanese say, kawaii. Lined with colorful boutiques, cafes and restaurants. A teenager's dream and a Tokyo experience for all. Running late for the Chinese embassy. <laughs> we only have three minutes and like a 800 meters to go. So we're running to be on time. We heard the Chinese people are very punctual. We're now in a conveyor belt sushi restaurant and uh, it's a lot of fish uh, and I just ordered some natto. On the conveyor belt below 
you can just pick and here on the top I expect my order in a, well, maybe in a minute or something so I'm very curious it's very very strange strange experience that's pretty cool it's kind of futuristic as well Crazy place, so many people crossing the streets and everybody's having fun, people's making selfies. It's an experience. Welcome to our bunk bed hotel. So our bunk bed hotel is a really affordable option. There is a reading light. They have a mirror here. And it's just a really nice place to relax after a day. Exploring Tokyo. We're now walking to Tokyo's Golden Guy neighborhood. It's uh, all these small bars, pubs. And uh, it's really cool, like a hands-on RTE. They built all kinds of nice things here. It has a really different atmosphere than the rest of Japan. Just find some stuff on the second-hand market, hanging out on your wall. How do you like it? Yeah. Yeah. Area. Cool, eh? So last time we were here we were very hopeful to get the Chinese visa but there is a present for us waiting. Okay, so we presented our case to the Chinese Visa Bureau and right off the bat they said it was going to take two weeks instead of the four they stated on the website. And the next morning we get an email it's gonna take at least one month before they even will start our application because they wanted to do kind of an investigation I guess because we visited so many countries. So we had to make a choice. Do we wait for the possibility that we do get the Chinese visa after maybe five weeks? Um, or do we just cancel and we weren't planning on staying in Tokyo for such a long time? Would also be very expensive. Yeah. So we chose to forego the, the whole application. China was always in our plan and it's a bummer that we don't get to see it this time around. So for people who don't know, this is the second time that we failed to apply for a Chinese visa. Yeah. 
So no China, but another destination, which, which you will see soon. in <laughs> our videos to come. Okay. See you later, guys. See you later. If you would like to support our ongoing adventure videos, feel free to check out our Patreon page at patreon.com/wheels2wonder.